Hey guys, Andy here, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Andy Talks Navy. And today's episode, guys, if you couldn't tell from the theme, we're celebrating Veterans Day 2017. Got an old uh, USS Lassen uh, command ball cap. It's not in the best of condition. It's seen some uh, closet wear, if you couldn't tell. But uh, it had the least amount of green on it, so... Uh, I don't have to worry about it uh, bleeding through the green screen as much as the other cover I have, which is in better condition. But anyway, on this Veterans Day 2017, we're going to be talking about what it means to me being a veteran in this day and age without dating the video too much because there's only so much 2017 left in the year. What, we got like a month left or so? A month of some change? Whatever. For those of you who may just be tuning into my channel for the very first time, my name is Andy. I served five years in the world's finest fleet as a sonar technician. I was stationed in both San Diego as well as Yokosuka, Japan for my five years in the service. And then I got out in 2015 to go back to college on the GI Bill. Being a veteran this day and age is definitely a lot different than the, uh, the previous generations of veteran status, I guess, because, you know, when I was growing up, before I joined the Navy and all that, there was usually two groups of veterans, right? There was the uh, the WW2 vets, usually somebody's grandpa or something like that, getting wheeled out, talking about how he stabbed Hitler in the ass with a bayonet or some weird shit. <laughs> and then there was also the Vietnam vets who would wear like all leather or like leather and denim with all the campaign buttons and patches and shit like that on there. And they just ride their Harleys all over the country, just living a freewheeling lifestyle. For this current generation of vets, um, I guess you could call them like the post 9-11 vets, is how I'd refer to them as, or millennial veterans, as some focus groups like to uh, remind me that I'm a part of. Even though the cutoff date for millennial is between 1982 and 1985, so I'm, I'm on the the fringe end of millennial. <laughs> Being a post 9-11 veteran is a lot different than the previous generations of veterans. I think a lot of us are more uh, driven, more business focused. You know, we kind of want to buy into the system a little bit more, make it work for us, and just try to live as independently as possible. But for me, that meant uh, not getting tattoos so I don't have any ink on me, for those who may be wondering. I guess the long the long and short of it is that I really couldn't find anything that um, I wanted to put ink to skin on that I liked. So I just never really got around to it. And it's not really my thing, so not knocking it, just not my thing. But I guess what it means to be a veteran for me specifically, it's very difficult because a lot of people don't really think I'm a veteran, you know, when I bring it up because, you know, I don't have the tattoos or the long beard or anything like that. And I only bring it up in casual conversation every once in a while. Like I don't flaunt my veteran status as unsubtly as I am in this video. You know, usually, sometimes it comes up, you know, like if somebody mentioned that their brother or sister is overseas or, you know, they went to an army base in Germany that one time or some weird shit like that, then I'd bring it up. But other than that, I pretty much keep it to myself. I only really flaunt my veteran status on YouTube. And even then, it's more of a kind of means to help out uh, younger vets as well as people who are currently in the service looking to get out. With that said, guys, this is the Andy Son signing for now from Andy Talks Navy HQ. Wishing all y'all a happy Veterans Day, and uh, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.